Hi. Okay. <clears throat> this is going to be a quick explanation of that first, um, the light dependent reactions. Okay. So this is the first part of photosynthesis. Remember, the overall reaction for photosynthesis. Let's quick write this down. Looking at the screen. So we've got sunlight plus carbon dioxide plus water gives us Sorry, I just want you to see this. I want you to have a visual of it, so be patient with me. Um, is going to give us glucose, which remember is C6 H12O6 plus oxygen. Okay, so this is the overall formula. If you don't remember anything, at least please memorize this. This is going to be the really important part. All right, so let's take a step back. Let's make sure we know where we're talking about. Again, we're talking about really small parts inside of a plant, inside the cell, inside the chloroplast. So here's our plant leaf. Our plant leaf. Our, yeah, plant leaf. Oof, it's late at night. All right, so we've got a plant leaf. Sunlight's coming down. It gets all the way through that leaf into a plant cell. So here's our plant cell. Here's our nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, vacuole, but here are the chloroplasts. So we're going to hone in on these chloroplasts right here. There's one right there. And remember, we've got um, these discs called the thylakoid, and everything on the outside is the um, stroma. We're focusing on the thylakoid, so let's just put that up here. We're talking about the light dependent reaction in the thylakoid. Okay? So we're focusing on these discs. So I've drawn in a little disc. Here is our thylakoid. Okay, so we're honed in on one of those little parts. So we're deep inside the cell, inside a chloroplast. Here's the thylakoid. Now, along the thylakoid are all these little proteins. And in these proteins are chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the pigment that absorbs sunlight. Okay? So in this reaction, we're really just working with sunlight and water to make these energy molecules. We're harnessing the sun's energy. Then we're going to later, in the next video for the Calvin cycle, we're going to take those energy molecules and use that energy to build glucose. Because remember, in photosynthesis, our ultimate goal is to take sunlight and these inorganic molecules, these just raw materials, and make food, glucose, out of it. All right. So, We've got um, sunlight coming down. So we've got our sunlight energy here, and we've got our water. Now, down here I've drawn the water molecule because what happens is, remember, the sunlight breaks that water molecule into different pieces. So one is our oxygen molecule. So here's our oxygen molecule. That oxygen molecule, when it gets broken apart, we also release two electrons. And they get excited because that, uh, that light energy, that photon of light, gives them lots and lots of energy. And that oxygen just leaves the thylakoid. So now we've broken that water molecule into its pieces. Broken the water molecule, remember it's H2O. So all those hydrogens, that's the little white parts of the water molecule. Remember, it's two H's and an O. So those two hydrogens, they build up inside the thylakoid like this, right? Um, the oxygen, like I said, once the sunlight breaks that apart, it just leaves the thylakoid because that's a waste product. And then we've got these electrons. So the three parts 
that the water molecule gets broken into are hydrogen, sorry, electrons, and oxygen. Wow. There we go. Okay. So hydrogens build up inside the thylakoid. Oxygen is a waste, so we've dealt with those two. Now we're going to focus on the electrons, okay? So here are our electrons. That's these little, oops, these little yellow dots. So first of all, these little yellow dots go get carried down this electron transport chain. Once they get to the end of that electron transport chain, they get loaded onto this NADP+. Remember, they have so much energy, we can't just let them go, or they'd be very damaging. But we need to use all that energy. We don't want to just let it go. So we have it attached to this special molecule called NADP+. Now, as soon as it attaches to that NADP+, now it changes its name. Now it's NADPH. Now it's loaded. So now we've loaded it with electrons. It's ready to go to the Calvin cycle. So the electrons, like I said, they travel down, sorry, I can't switch. They travel down the electron transport chain. They load up an NADP plus into NADPH. Now it's fully loaded, full of those, that energy from the electrons, ready to go make glucose. But we're not done. We need one more energy molecule. The ATP is really important also. So now we're going to take those hydrogens. That's the other piece we haven't really addressed yet. They build up inside the, the thylakoid, getting crowded. So by the time they get super crowded, they get pushed through this molecule right here. It's called ATP synthase. It's just basically an enzyme. It's a protein. So these protons as they get pushed through, every time a proton, or I'm sorry, every time a hydrogen ion gets shoved through that, that um, protein, it changes one ADP molecule into ATP. So we have these protons pulling through, and every time one pulls through, we make ATP. So now we've made two energy molecules and those two energy molecules are now ready to go to the Calvin cycle and make glucose. All right, one more quick rundown. Okay, let's go through that one more time. We're in the thylakoid. There's our electrons. There's our oxygen. I'm just going to bring over the hydrogen here. A couple of them, right? Okay, so we have sunlight coming down, breaking a water molecule. The energy from the sunlight breaks this water molecule, right? The oxygen from that water molecule goes to waste. The electrons from this water molecule, they get energized or what we call excited. They travel down the electron transport chain and they power up an NADPH. Now they're ready to go to the Calvin cycle. These protons build up inside the thylakoid. As soon as it's crowded, they push through the thylakoid and they make ATP. Oxygen is a waste, electrons make NADPH, hydrogen makes ATP. We harness the energy from the sun in these two energy molecules. Now we're going to use those energy molecules to build glucose in the next 